Welcome back, ranchers. I'm the Survival Miss, and we return to Slime Rancher 2, where we're just into the last episode of our little holiday break with the game, and take our, taking our time exploring the beautiful Powder Snap Bluffs. Oh, okay, well, we're going to snag some of these chickens. Just, last episode, we got ourselves a little bit through some of the areas. We found a few of the little pods that are hidden around in the area. There's actually supposed to be... Uh, 17 more hidden in this region. So there's a lot tucked away that we'll have to try just roaming about and exploring to see about finding. But so far, yeah, Power Snap Bluffs is my favorite area the in the game. I just love the cozy feel of it. Ow. And I do kind of wish I had a little bit of a means of being able to track where some of these little pods could be better. But that's just, we gotta explore around, see if we can locate where they're hidden. I am trying to collect all of these little chickens and that we can find. Because there is the one big, uh, saber slime. That seems to have a portal underneath them. And I don't actually know where that will take us if we open it up. But so far, it's just really nice and cozy exploring around this area. We also, last episode, climbed to the very peak of the area and got what seems to be, like, I guess, like, the super treasure or the big treasure the game has to offer for the region, which was the Golden Sure Shot. That has to be made back in the, uh, refinery or whatever. But I don't think it'll be too hard to... Oh. Oh, actually, I should check and see if the snowballs will hurt them. <laughs> or hurt the tars. There we go. Yeah, one of the things about Slime Rancher 2 is how it can tuck and hide things away. You almost have to skirt the edges and take a little look over them in case there's like another little drop hidden. Oh. Oh good, the snowballs will take care of them. Although, it is kind of weird that they're not getting damaged by the snow they're in. Oh, boy, that's a lot more than I was expecting to find. I'm glad I kind of stocked us up on snowballs. Okay. That's at least them cleared out. Um, yeah, I think just jetpack our way over here. So they're... Oh, you know what? There's probably something hidden up there. So, you know what? Maybe I'll actually head back. See if we can figure out a way up to the peak there. I don't think I can climb this. That looks a little too steep for ourselves. And... Nope. Oh, oh, that's gone. Whatever it was. Yeah, I've got to do a little bit of circling around. I'm guessing on some of these little tops there will be uh, special things to find. But I do wonder if there's an upgrade that would let you kind of have like a little... Uh, part of the UI that'll display, like, there's a treasure pod this direction, and that, like, to go for it. Or if you're near them. Just because, again, they can be hidden away... There's something over there. I can see the Aurora Bridges starting to form. So there's definitely something all the way over on that little peak there. So we might have to wait a while, but then we can try going out there. I think for now, uh, we'll just keep roaming around, try to find more chickens and food. Oh, speaking of, another thunder clock. And anything special up here? Uh, doesn't super look like it, just some veggies and stuff. Okay, let's work back towards the tropical area of the bluffs and see about that one big saber slime. Because, yeah, we're starting to see the aurora stuff coming into uh, existence a little bit more. And you know what? Since there are just so many of these little puddle ports, we'll just pick them up. Okay, I think it's actually up top of there we need to get to. So a little jetpack here. 
And then I think I gotta go... Yeah, I might have to go the long way around. Have I been through here? Oh, there's another little pod. What do you got in you? Snow's bench. Okay, so just another little decoration. And this probably will just pop us out exactly where we were, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is actually, I think, just underneath the little area we went up into. There we go. Okay. Yeah, now we'll work our way around the far side. Now, I see the hints of the aura are there, but they're not solid enough yet for us. So I might actually have to do a little bit of platforming. There we go. Oh, another one of these. I would take you, but I'm full on slots. Okay, but we should have the power. Yeah, we can get over here, no problem. Okay, so let's see about you. Oh, there we go. Hey. Okay. Oh. Okay, well, just one of those. Sun sap. And let's see where this portal takes us. Because I'm not actually sure where this will lead us to. I don't know if it's, like, closer back to the ranch, or it'll be somewhere completely different. Oh! Okay, apparently there's also, like, a weather effect. Wind. Nothing beats the cool breeze of sea air that rolls through every corner of Rainbow Island, but when cool breezes become gusts and gales, anything that isn't rooted to the ground finds itself going wherever the wind decides to take it. Okay, so I guess as it's blowing, things might be moving around. But that's interesting, there's a portal there as well. So we at least know that. Yeah, we'll pop back through here. Okay, so that was the big saber guy finished. There's just, I want to try hanging around till the Aurora becomes active for that one little remote spot. And then I think we'll be good to make our way back to the ranch. Although, I might actually want to put down our uh, home portal out here somewhere. Actually, let me see. Is there a good spot? Ah, uh, nothing right around here. I was going to try to find a decent spot to... Oh. Maybe we'll put one, like, up into the peaks there. That way it's sort of like we've gone through the full area. I'm just trying to think if there's anywhere that... We would come across it pretty easily enough to know that's where we've left it. Oh, truth be told. No, I think it's too tall to try jetpacking without the little platforms formed. But just how we did, I am kind of curious if I should, could. But I'll try just wait a little bit longer, because I don't think it'll be long before the Aurora fully takes its shape. Yeah, because we do have, like, these trees... They're see-through right now, and let me just open up the Slimepedia and see when it says the Aurora is active. Because I was hoping it would say, like, between certain times of day, but it doesn't mention anything. Uh, pollen, vine tangle, wind, snow, and then there's a few other types of weather. Ah, uh, nothing there. Okay, I might just have to wait and see for them to take form whenever they will. It's like, again, it's just so teasing to see the little bit of light dancing there. And no, we just gotta wait it out. I'm trying to think if there's anything else around the area. Oh! 
Oh, the only problem is... Okay, I will go for it. But the way back is a little less uh, straightforward. <laughs> so there's a snowy bush we've got. There we go. And looks like we're going to have a bit of a snowball fight to embark on. Okay. I have to see about finding another little snowball stack. There we go. Okay, took care of them. Oh! Okay, that's pretty, actually seeing the sun setting, too. Yeah, there goes the last edges of the sun. Oh, yeah, this game is just really nice to look at. The graphics and everything are really pretty. And... Oh, I just gotta wait a little bit longer, but it looks like... Maybe once they hit 1900, everything will become active for, like, the uh, Aurora Bridges. It's like... Yeah, looking about now... Oh, yeah, looks like that is it. 1900 was the time we needed. So now we can get our way over here and see what exactly is tucked away on such a tiny little spot. Is there really nothing for... I feel robbed. <laughs> like... You have the most- oh, there it is. I was going to say, like, there had to be something out here for all this. And just a little bit more decoration. Like, for all the distance to go out, just for nothing to be there, just- it didn't feel right. There had to have been something. But yeah, with that, and with how everything's been going, I think we're good just to... Oh, actually, you know what? Oh, actually, you know what? Let me let the battery recharge before I do lose everything we've got on us. So my thinking is, what we'll do is we'll go kind of back up to where the Saber Slime is with its portal. And then from around that spot... Maybe we'll see about putting down our home portal. So yeah, there's no real way from here up there unless I think I take the Aurora Bridges. And yeah, there's our little path. And just up along here. Ooh. Oh, you guys are kind of popping out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, up here. Just follow this as it winds. Mind the gaps. And here we are up towards the top. I don't suppose there's anything hidden around over here since we can go. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. It is one of the ones where you just, you kind of have to check every little nook and cranny because you never know where things might be hidden away. It is where I think it would be helpful to... Have I been... I don't know if I've been down over here yet. Oh, I don't think I have been, considering... We've got these aggressive... Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Okay, uh... Th this just looks like a drop-off, so I don't think there's anything to this. Well, let's... Oh, there's another pod. 
Yeah, see, this is where it feels like it'd be nice to have, like, a little radar or something that just kind of helps point you in directions of the treasure pods. An Aurora Pine. Okay, that's actually a neat decoration to get, because that is the... Oh. Okay, we're going to ignore I might have accidentally just pushed the little poor little guy off the edge. Oh. Okay, that didn't break. There we go. Yeah, let's, uh, see. Okay, so, where am I even? Because I am a little lost right now. Oh! Have we found you before? Yeah, we did. Okay, that's a little snowman. Let me just see if I can get here. And then I think what we're looking for... Yeah, it's right over here, so... I'll make our home portal right here. Yeah, install that. And let's get back home to the ranch. We can see about what the sure shot treasure is we found and what it needs for its uh, cost. As well as drop what we've got into the refinery. Because funds won't be a problem, it'll just be the raw resources. Let's head down here and plunk everything we've got in. I, I don't know if this will actually take snowballs or not. No. Okay, all that in. All those in. And those. Okay, so let's see. Golden Sure Shot, a special backpack upgrade that hones in on a on gold slime weak points. Their secret belly button, and doubles the amount of gold ports they produce when hit. Okay, we are missing some fire and gold ones, but that's what that is. Uh what was the other thing I was looking for? Oh right, the tank boosters. Haven't found any of those. Or the extra or the new jetpack one. There's some power cores ones. Yeah, like, yeah, so far there's nothing that seems to be for, like, helping you hone in on where treasure pods could be. You just have to explore and try looking in every nook and cranny for them. But what I think we'll do is we'll go check on the Saber Slimes, get the Thundercluck Coop emptied out, and bring our little holiday break for Slime Rancher to, to a little end here. Again, this is just a nice little game if you want to relax, casual, and smile at. You'll easily have it all here. I just wanted to have it as a little break for the holiday season. The Power Snap Bluffs, I do think, is a perfect area for this time of year. And, oh, there's a lot here. Oh, I got Thunder Chickadoos. Okay, let's see. Those can go back. The two roosters, and those two. And the rest, you guys, I hope you're hungry because you're getting a lot of good food. Your favorites. There we go. And I think just enough that we're not going to have the tank too full. So I'll check and see what the Saber ports are selling for, but I'll probably just toss them into the, uh, the refinery. Just so that way we have them for any crafting we might need in the future. I will eventually come back to Slime Rancher 2, but I'll have to see when we want to do that, because... I think this is a nice, little, a nice little bit of like a palate cleanser or a little refresher series. Nothing kept too long onto the channel, just two or three weeks. Come in, have a little bit of fun, enjoy, and then move along. Okay, they're going for 62 right now, so you know what? Yeah, we'll do that just to get a bit there. Toss these into the refinery, and then I think we're pretty good to be able to end the episode off with that. I still don't know if there is actually another area to see or not. Because if I do check in the world, there's not like another area listed as like unknown to visit. But I don't know if maybe they only get revealed as you visit them. 
there are still a couple of slime types that we haven't seen yet, so... Yeah, there's the Tangled one. So yeah, there's a couple that we don't really know about yet. But they'll, that'll leave us something to come back to and try getting in time. For now, though, I think we've had a pretty fun little return to Slime Rancher 2 and are in a good spot to end it off. Maybe I'll just see about trying for... Yeah, everything is just looking like work, though, so maybe I'll just leave it all for another time. But yeah, we'll end things here with the sunrise... Actually, actually, no, we'll end with a little view of the aurora here. You can kind of see Ember Valley and the uh, Power Snap Fluff Aurora. Thank you all very much for joining me on this little holiday break with Slime March 2. If you did like the video, so be sure to give them a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, just leave them in the comments right down below. And until I see you all in the next video or episode, survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy holidays.